Hello everyone. So today is another video that I've been meaning to do for quite a while. Not particularly the video, but the thing I need to do to my Xterra is to do the radiator transmission cooling bypass. <laughs> the infamous uh, milkshake of death that really kind of kills all the transmission on the exteriors and uh, similar cars that have this uh, issue. In theory it's pretty easy thing to do, so all we have to do is just swap two hoses around and hopefully that will prevent the any future issues. So I'll try to record as much as possible underneath as I'm doing this uh, bypass. I don't know how it's gonna come out, because it's kinda, kinda tight in there and I will have a um, lift to lift up the car. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. We gotta remove this skid plate over here. There's just a few 10 millimeter bolts that we gotta unscrew. Slide. So all we gotta do is just unplug this hose and this hose over here and switch them around. So basically this hose that goes to the radiator instead of go going into the transmission pump it's gonna go back in here and this hose is gonna go in there so it's gonna be a closed loop. And that should prevent any future disasters. I'm gonna slide this to the side for now. The clip itself. All right. Now we can work on the holes. trying to undo it. I wonder will there be a lot of uh, liquid coming. So now as that is loose, let's try to loosen up the other one. Hopefully it's not breaking anything. That is loose. Okay, so I loosen up both of them already. This hose is gonna be unplugged from here and it's gonna go in here. And this hose is gonna be unplugged from here and it's gonna go in here just to close up this loop for radiator. And this to, to prevent the transmission fluid going through the radiator and contaminating itself. So it's just gonna go from there to the transmission cooler which is a separate unit by itself the small one and just gonna go back in there all right luckily nothing oh spoke too soon okay so that's gonna go from there just gonna go back in there this one just gonna keep this hose tag up there now I'm gonna work on this hose I'm afraid this one's gonna leak a lot now. So maybe I'm gonna have to do some. Yep. Yep. It's leaking. Okay. Now we we'll plug this guy back in here. 
Okay. This one is gonna go back in there. Okay, now I'm just gonna put the hoses back in place. Can we loosen up this strap? Can we loosen up this connector over here so I can slide the hose all the way in? I should have brought a channel lax with me, but unfortunately I didn't think that far ahead. Put this one back in place. I'm not too happy with the clamp that the, the hose it has. It feels too loose. I don't think it's gonna clamp it that good. So the other day I picked up this connector. I think it's gonna do a better job once I put it in. I'll just make it tight on it and that should hold it better than these clamps because over time I feel like they're getting loose and they don't clamp it that good and I put it already in place but it felt very loose to me so I'm gonna replace it with this kind of clamp solo in place and now we just make that one tight and that's it now just with a little key little wrench little by little just gonna make it tight it's gonna take time but it's okay it's okay All right, and that should do it. All right, so I just did it, the bypass. So as you can see, that this hose is just looped around. Just goes from radiator to radiator. It doesn't go through the transmission anymore. And the other hose is it's right there. Goes back in there doesn't go through the radiator anymore either and as you can see I replaced that uh, tightening over there the fastener I feel like that one's gonna be better so I'm just gonna clean it up now put the skid plate back oh and as you can see there is not much of a transmission fluid came out so it's no big deal there's no need to refill or anything Gonna clean it up, put the skid plate back and start it up, make sure that nothing is leaking anywhere and that should be good.
So all right, I just did the radiator bypass and it was pretty easy. It's pretty easy, it didn't take that long. I replaced one of the hose clamps or the one with the screw. I feel like that is gonna do a better job. And just gonna monitor over time now how's the temperature and stuff like that. But hopefully everything can be alright. So until next time, see you guys around. Thank you.